coming up. In this historic video, we will take a look at P-40 Warhawk pilot Ralph Emberg and his fateful final mission. Welcome back to my new series, MIA, where in each episode, we will choose a pilot or air crew member who is officially listed as missing in action in World War II and attempt to relive their final battles to remember their courage and sacrifice. Enjoy. First Lieutenant Ralph Emberg was a U.S. pilot assigned to the 13th Air Force in the 18th Fighter Group, which saw action over the Pacific flying P-40s in the early parts of the war. This aircraft would be the backbone for many fighter groups in the Pacific, specifically in the earlier parts of the conflict. It was a solid fighter for the U.S. Army Air Force, but it did fall short in a few areas when paired up against the Japanese Zero. The most significant of these shortcomings was certainly maneuverability, in which the far lighter and less armored Zero could easily outperform the P-40. Because of this, the American fighters often had to try and rely on their speed and power to win dogfights, trying to outclimb and outdive the more nimble Japanese aircraft. On August 1st of 1943, 10 Curtis P-40 Warhawks took off from an airfield on Guadalcanal for an escort mission of SBD dive bombers who were heading to hit Kahili Airfield, which was being used by the Japanese. During this sortie, as the mission progressed, five of the P-40s actually had to turn back and head for a friendly airfield after they began to run low on fuel, cutting the number of the escort fighters in half. Unfortunately, this decision would prove to be one that would likely be costly for the Americans. It is unclear why half of the P-40s were lower on fuel than the other half, but it is apparent that this was a strategic misstep that left the American escorts and bombers vulnerable. Carrying on with the mission, Emberg and the other four P-40s continued escorting their bombers. While flying at around 1,500 feet and 170 miles an hour, the P-40s were intercepted by a large group of Japanese Zeros. The combat records from this day have the number of Japanese fighters at around 25 to 30. This would be a very tough spot for the P-40s, especially considering that the Japanese at this time still had a number of highly skilled pilots flying their aircraft. These fighters dove on the American P-40s and ambushed them. Likely, before any of them were ever seen, much of the damage was already done. In this first pass, First Lieutenant Emberg's P-40 was hit hard by the Japanese fighters. His aircraft was last seen by one of the surviving American pilots in this flight, who saw Emberg's P-40 roll over twice at a low altitude over the sea. He stated that it was not smoking nor on fire, and it appeared to be intact. This was the last time anyone ever saw Emberg. Following this, the P-40s dispersed and the Zeros continued their chase. Although a crash was not seen, nor wreckage or remains ever located, Lieutenant Ralph Emberg was declared dead that same day. Based on the evidence at hand, it is very likely that he was hit in the cockpit and crashed into the waters below. He is memorialized on the tablets of the missing at Manila American Cemetery in the Philippines. This has been MIA. Thanks for watching.